Have you ever found yourself pointing fingers, convinced that someone else was entirely at fault? Perhaps a co-worker stole your promotion or a friend betrayed your trust. We've all been there, consumed by the certainty that we are the wronged party in the situation. But what if, beneath the surface of our blame, something else is lurking? What if our accusations are actually reflections of our own hidden insecurities and fears? This, my friends, is the intriguing world of psychological projection. We often view ourselves through a lens of righteousness, quick to condemn the flaws we perceive in others. Yet, we remain remarkably blind to those same imperfections within our own hearts. Psychological projection, a fascinating defense mechanism, lies at the very core of this human paradox. It's a subtle whisper in the back of our minds, leading us to project our own unacceptable thoughts, feelings, and desires onto the people around us. This isn't about pointing fingers or engaging in a blame game. It's about embarking on a journey of self-discovery, one that unveils the hidden motivations behind our perceptions of others. Through understanding psychological projection, we unlock a deeper understanding of ourselves and the intricate tapestry of human behavior. This journey isn't always comfortable, it requires introspection and a willingness to confront the darker aspects of our being. But within this exploration lies the potential for profound personal growth and transformation. In the following sections, we'll delve into the depths of projection, examining its origins, its impact on our relationships, and most importantly, how recognizing it within ourselves can pave the path to healing, authenticity, and more fulfilling connections with others. Psychological projection isn't confined to therapy or textbooks. It permeates our lives. It colors our interactions and shapes our perceptions. Think of the last time you were cut off in traffic. Did you unleash road rage or found yourself in a heated argument with a loved one? These scenarios share a common thread psychological projection. We project our frustrations and insecurities onto others, transforming strangers into villains, friends into foes. Romantic relationships often become entangled in projection. We idealize partners only to feel disappointed when they fail to meet our expectations. The concept of psychological projection might seem daunting at first, conjuring images of shadowy recesses of the mind and hidden motives. But I assure you, this journey is not about self-condemnation or dwelling in negativity. It's about embracing the totality of who we are, both the light and the shadow. As we peel back the layers of projection, we embark on a profound journey of self-discovery. This requires courage, honesty, and a willingness to confront the parts of ourselves we'd rather keep hidden. We'll use tools and techniques to illuminate the hidden corners of our psyche. Delving into Freud's work on projection as a defense mechanism and Jung's concept of the shadow self, we gain insights into our unconscious. Understanding these theories helps us identify patterns of projection in our lives. This journey is about cultivating self-awareness and practical tools for managing projections. Techniques like mindfulness, cognitive behavioral therapy, and journaling empower you to break free from projection and cultivate healthier relationships. The path to self-discovery is a winding road filled with twists and turns. With each step, we move closer to authenticity, compassion, and genuine connection. So let's begin this journey together, unmasking the shadow and stepping into the light of our true selves. In psychology, projection is a fascinating yet misunderstood defense mechanism. It's a way to protect our egos from uncomfortable truths. 
Imagine a movie projector casting an image onto a blank screen. We cast our unwanted thoughts and feelings onto others. This often happens unconsciously. We see flaws in others, not recognizing our own insecurities. It's like looking through a distorted mirror. But why do we do this? Why not acknowledge these aspects of ourselves? It's about self-preservation. Our egos are fragile, easily threatened. Projection acts as a protective shield. We create a false sense of separation from our flaws. This can manifest in judgments, criticisms, and blame. Let's delve into a relatable example of projection in our daily lives. Meet Sarah, a talented graphic designer at a bustling agency. Sarah takes pride in her work but fears she's not good enough. Enter Emily, a new addition to the team. Emily is confident and talented, receiving praise. Sarah becomes critical and gossips about Emily. Sarah is unaware of her own projected insecurity. She sees Emily's confidence as arrogance, masking her own self-doubt. Sarah's story is a familiar tale in many workplaces and relationships. Psychological projection is a universal human experience. We all engage in projection, often without realizing it. Think about the last time you judged someone for a behavior you've exhibited. Perhaps you criticized a friend for being unreliable, ignoring your own tendencies, or felt irritated by a coworker's need for validation, overlooking your own. These moments reveal we are critical of flaws in others that reflect our own. A study shows 75% of individuals engage in projection regularly. Projection is a common coping strategy, not a sign of weakness. Understanding projection can be liberating. It reminds us we're not alone in our struggles. Recognizing projection fosters compassion for ourselves and others. It allows us to approach conversations with empathy and understanding. Acknowledging projection creates space for understanding and growth. Our journey into projection theory begins with Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis. Freud revolutionized our understanding of the unconscious mind and its influence on our behaviors. He introduced defense mechanisms, unconscious strategies to protect ourselves from anxiety. Projection is a key defense mechanism, attributing our undesirable traits to others. Freud believed projection stemmed from the id, the primal part of our psyche. The id harbors raw desires and urges that we repress. These repressed desires seek expression in the shadows of our unconscious. Projection allows us to experience these urges indirectly by attributing them to others. This protects our egos from anxiety and guilt. Freud's work laid the foundation for understanding projection as a protective mechanism. Section 2, Jung's Expansion, Exploring the Shadow Self and the Collective Unconscious. Carl Jung expanded Freud's theories, focusing on the shadow self, the unconscious aspects of our personality that we reject or deny. Jung believed the shadow self contains both positive and negative traits, influencing our thoughts and behaviors. Projection helps us confront and integrate these shadow aspects, leading to greater self-acceptance. Jung also introduced the collective unconscious, a universal reservoir of shared experiences and symbols. Projection in the modern age, a timeless concept with contemporary relevance. Freud and Jung's work on projection laid the foundation for decades of research into this defense mechanism. Their insights into the human psyche remain strikingly relevant today. Contemporary psychologists continue to refine our understanding of projection. 
research focuses on projection in interpersonal relationships. Projection creates a distorted perception of others, leading to conflict. Chronic projection can contribute to anxiety, depression, and personality disorders. When managed effectively, projection can be a tool for self-discovery and growth. The many faces of projection, from idealization to disgust. Projection is a multifaceted defense mechanism. It involves attributing traits to others, mirroring our desires, and shaping perceptions of groups. Like a prism, projection takes on various hues, depending on emotions and experiences. Exploring its types reveals the human psyche. Positive projection occurs when we attribute admirable qualities to others. It's the feeling of adoration we experience when we first fall in love. Or the admiration for a charismatic leader, reflecting our own yearning for guidance. Positive projection can inspire connection and growth, but it operates through our own unconscious projections. Idealizing others often reflects our unmet needs or unfulfilled desires. We might be drawn to a partner's sense of adventure because we long to break free from our own limitations or admire a friend's self-confidence, mirroring our desire to feel secure. Positive projection can also lead to disappointment. No one can live up to the idealized images we create. This can lead to disillusionment and the breakdown of relationships. Negative projection rears its head when we attribute undesirable traits to others. It's the voice of judgment that whispers in our ear, convincing us that our coworker is lazy or our neighbor is untrustworthy. These projections often stem from our own insecurities and fears. We project them outward, creating a false sense of separation. For example, if we struggle with feelings of inadequacy, we might accuse others of being incompetent. Negative projection can erode trust and fuel conflict. It traps us in a distorted reality, coloring our perceptions of the world. Carl Jung introduced the concept of the shadow self, a term that evokes mystery and trepidation. The shadow resides in our unconscious, teeming with repressed emotions and disowned aspects of our being. Jung believed the shadow is a necessary part of our psyche. It contains both light and dark aspects of our nature. We push these qualities into the shadows to navigate societal expectations. Embracing the shadow is about developing a compassionate understanding of ourselves. When the unacknowledged takes center stage, projection as a bridge to wholeness. The shadow self, while hidden from our conscious awareness, doesn't remain dormant. Like a mischievous trickster, it finds ways to express itself, often through the mechanism of projection. When we encounter traits in others that trigger strong emotional reactions, it's often a sign that our shadow is at play. These reactions are rarely about the other person. They're reflections of our own unacknowledged shadow material. By paying attention to these projections, we gain invaluable insights into our own hidden depths. Each judgment, criticism, or idealization offers a clue, a breadcrumb leading us back to a part of ourselves we've disowned or denied. John, a successful businessman, struggled with alcoholism. He prided himself on discipline and control. Viewing addiction as a weakness, he refused to acknowledge it. Despite attempts to quit, he was trapped in a cycle of relapse. In therapy, he explored the root of his judgment towards others. Realizing his addiction was part of him, he began healing. He attended support groups and started journaling. Gradually, he accepted his imperfections with compassion. John's story shows the power 
of confronting our shadows. As we delve into projection in relationships, we encounter the anima and animus archetypes. Carl Jung described these as the unconscious masculine and feminine principles within us. The anima embodies receptivity and intuition. The animus embodies assertiveness and logic. These archetypes are fluid energies within us. They shape our perceptions and behaviors, especially in romantic relationships. Jung believed we seek partners who reflect our anima or animus. This dance forms the foundation for profound experiences of love and longing. In romantic love, we often experience a sense of merging, a blissful union with another soul. This feeling can sometimes be more about projection than true intimacy. We fall in love with an idealized image, a reflection of our own unmet needs. Disappointment arises when the partner fails to live up to this ideal. Recognizing these projections helps us see our partners more clearly. The path to conscious love involves recognizing and integrating our own anima and animus archetypes. It's about befriending these energies and expressing them in balanced ways. For men, this means cultivating emotional awareness and intuition. For women, it means embracing assertiveness and autonomy. Integrating these energies makes us whole and less reliant on romantic partners. This leads to relationships based on genuine compatibility. While psychological projection serves as a defense mechanism, its overuse can harm our mental and emotional well-being. Imagine viewing the world through a distorted lens, magnifying others' flaws while obscuring our own. This perception can lead to interpersonal conflicts, emotional turmoil, and psychological distress. Projecting insecurities onto others creates negativity and conflict. We become hypercritical, failing to see our reactions stem from internal struggles. Unchecked projection impacts our relationships. It creates distance, conflict, and misunderstandings. Imagine building a bridge while hurling stones. We project unresolved issues onto others. We view them through our biases and emotional baggage. Misinterpretations lead to communication breakdowns. In romantic relationships, projection is damaging. We project unmet needs onto partners, leading to disappointment. Projection impacts our emotional well-being, contributing to mental health challenges. By projecting unacknowledged emotions, we avoid dealing with internal struggles. Repressed emotions fester, manifesting in unhealthy ways like chronic anxiety. We become hypervigilant, perceiving threats everywhere. Depression can be worsened by projecting negative self-perceptions. We misinterpret others' actions, reinforcing feelings of worthlessness. Recognizing this link empowers us to address these challenges. Recognizing our own projections is no easy feat. It requires a willingness to turn the spotlight inward with honesty and compassion. It's about questioning our assumptions and challenging our stories. Self-reflection is about curiosity and openness. Acknowledge we are works in progress, capable of love and harm. Mindfulness helps us observe our patterns without judgment. Journaling uncovers our projections and recurring themes. Red flags and telltale signs, identifying your projection patterns. Be aware of common red flags that signal projection. Intense emotional reactions are key indicators. Disproportionate anger or judgment often means projecting our own emotions. Making sweeping generalizations is another sign. Projection involves a sense of moral superiority. This defends us from acknowledging our own flaws. From blame to curiosity, 
reframing your reactions. Shift from blame to curiosity. Approach difficult interactions as opportunities for self-discovery. Pause, step back, and ask, what's really going on here? This question opens the door to greater self-awareness. Approach interactions with curiosity to foster authentic, compassionate relationships. Mindfulness practices. Cultivating present moment awareness. Mindfulness is the practice of cultivating present moment awareness with a non-judgmental attitude. It allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without getting entangled in them. To begin, start with simple breath awareness. Find a quiet place, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing. Notice the sensation of the breath entering and leaving your body. If your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to your breath. Over time, this strengthens your ability to stay present and observe your thoughts and emotions. Mindfulness can also be integrated into daily activities, like eating or walking. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Techniques Reframing Thoughts and Behaviors Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, focuses on identifying and challenging distorted thinking patterns and behaviors. CBT techniques can help reframe thoughts and develop healthier ways of relating to yourself and others. One effective technique is cognitive restructuring. Identify automatic negative thoughts and question their validity. For example, if you think, my colleague is lazy, consider if this is a projection of your own fear of inadequacy. Challenge this thought by considering alternative explanations and reflecting on your own insecurities. Journaling exercises, uncovering and understanding projections. Journaling is a powerful tool for uncovering and understanding your projections. Record your interactions and emotional reactions daily. Note situations that trigger strong emotions and any judgments you made. Look for recurring themes and patterns. These patterns can reveal your unresolved issues and projections. Write letters to those you project onto, expressing your thoughts honestly. Then, write a response from their perspective to understand their view. Reframing Projection – A Pathway to Self-Discovery Psychological projection, when approached with awareness, can become a powerful catalyst for self-discovery. Instead of viewing projection as something to be ashamed of, see it as valuable information about our unconscious patterns. Every projection offers a glimpse into our inner landscape. When we judge someone, ask, what fear within myself fuels this judgment? Am I feeling overwhelmed and projecting those feelings onto others? Idealizing a partner can reveal unmet needs within ourselves. Reframing projection requires a shift in perspective. Focus inward, exploring our emotional reactions with curiosity. View projections as opportunities for growth and self-awareness. This shift allows us to move from blame to compassion for ourselves and others. Taking back your projections, steps towards integration. Recognize our projections and integrate the disowned aspects of ourselves. Embrace the totality of who we are, shadows and all. Practice owning our shadow qualities and acknowledge traits we judge in others. Meet our unmet needs and cultivate self-love. Take responsibility for our needs and practice forgiveness. Forgive ourselves and those who've triggered our projections. Transformational Stories, Embracing the Journey.
The journey of recognizing and integrating our projections is often challenging, requiring courage and vulnerability. Yet countless individuals have embarked on this transformative path, emerging with a deeper understanding of themselves. Consider the story of Maya, who struggled with chronic jealousy in her romantic relationships. Through therapy, Maya recognized her jealousy stemmed from deep-seated insecurities and a fear of abandonment. As she developed greater self-love, she noticed a profound shift in her relationships. She no longer felt the need to control her partners, approaching relationships with greater trust. These stories share a common thread, the transformative power of confronting our projections. This journey is about embracing the messy, beautiful complexity of being human. Projection, a universal human experience. Psychological projection is a universal human experience. We all project, each and every one of us. It's an inherent part of being human. Recognizing this universality can be incredibly liberating. It reminds us that we're not alone in our struggles. We all have blind spots, those shadowy corners of our psyche. Understanding projection opens us to growth and connection. Embracing our shadows, illuminating our lives. The journey of recognizing and integrating our projections is not for the faint of heart. It requires courage, honesty, and a willingness to confront the parts of ourselves we'd rather keep hidden. It's about venturing into the shadowy recesses of our unconscious, shining a light on the disowned aspects of our being. This process of shadow work, as Carl Jung termed it, is not about condoning negative behavior. It's about developing a more holistic and compassionate understanding of ourselves recognizing that we are all complex beings, capable of both great love and unconscious harm. Our shadows hold the seeds of our greatest potential for growth and transformation. When we deny or repress our shadows, they manifest in unhealthy ways. But with curiosity and compassion, we unlock wisdom and insight. We see our projections as opportunities for healing and self-awareness. This journey requires patience, self-compassion, and a willingness to stumble. Yet, the rewards are immeasurable, leading to greater wholeness and peace. From projection to connection, building bridges of authenticity. Integrating our shadows helps us relate to others with authenticity and compassion we break free from blame and judgment, creating space for genuine connection. Recognizing our projections reduces projecting onto others. We develop empathy, understanding the triggers reflect unaccepted parts of ourselves. This doesn't mean condoning hurtful behavior. We approach situations with understanding, recognizing we're all works in progress. Greater self-awareness makes us attuned to others' projections. We respond with compassion, recognizing projections stem from pain or unmet needs. This shift is an ongoing practice, fostering a more compassionate, connected experience. 